Hi, uh, I'm Vivek Nandakumar from Cadence, uh, and I'm in the Design IP group. I'm here going to talk about uh, this video. We will see what to expect from a TLM2 model, uh, and if it was an AT model uh, with respect to a memory subsystem. We have already seen in, a, in the previous video what an LT model is uh, and how it is different from an AT model in behavior. And we will see what AT is today, which is actually an approximately timed model. <clears throat> so again, just a quick recap, this is our memory subsystem that we have been taking as an example for this review. Uh, we have uh, uh, a memory controller IP sitting here and, and the memory itself. Uh, we've, we've seen what this queue does, basically it's, the, um, it's, it's where the commands get reordered um, uh, for better memory utilization, <coughs> for channel utilization, to improve channel utilization. There is also this read command buffer and then there is data buffer on the back channel. So let's now see what happens in, in the AT, how the command really flows. So let's say if uh, uh, the read command gets in, it gets accepted just like it was an AT, and it gets queued into this buffer that we have just created. And remember, LT did not have that buffer, and here we do model microarchitectural components, which is the big difference. And so there is this buffer, and the buffer can take in that read, uh, and instantly, um, or as soon as it gets, um, the buffer can ac accept the command, read2 um, can come in, which is also different from what we have seen with LT because it's totally blocking in LT. You, you will never get back this, uh, you can never accept a new command until the response comes back, which is uh, not the case with uh, AT. So let's, um, so it does model microarchitectural components, queues, for example, uh, it, it models a reorder buffer. We will just see see that, um, and it is um, non-blocking, meaning commands can be accepted uh, uh, outside as as much as there is buffer space. The moment there is bu uh, the buffer fills up, it starts putting in back pressure, and you can no longer accept any more commands. So, which is really what the RTL would do, and so we are getting closer and closer to the RTL behavior with an AT model. So there, the queue can actually take in back, uh, I mean, it can put in back pressure, basically, um, as an RTO. <coughs> um, there is also this concept of um, synchronization. Typically, all the uh, components are synchronized to clock, which is an event, or it could be any other event as well. It's typically, like I said, it could be clock, which means this reorder buffer can say, well, I can take read uh, one after three clock cycles. I can take I can take and read one after three clock cycles, and if some other event happens, it could be a timing event in the DDR, which is precisely what the memory controller IP is doing. It it knows exactly all the timing, and read after read has to go after certain timing. So it can say after three cycles, and if the command timing has already elapsed, so we can do that, and that the whole timing can be captured that way. Um, so it is completely timing aware. unlike uh, loosely timed. Um, so with, with all this said, you can obviously think that this is going to be not as fast as uh, an, uh, AT, uh, an LT model. So it's slower than um, uh, LT, but it's still uh, about 1,000 to uh, 10,000 times faster than uh, RTL. Um, and it's, uh, it's, it's, it's slower than LT, Clearly, because not just because it's modeling all the components in it, but also because each as you throw start throwing in more and more modules, it essentially becomes uh, uh, each one has it's, it's all spawned as a separate thread internally. Um, so, for example, R two has to wait for so many clock cycles before R one goes out. So there is this concept of weight that gets introduced in this thing, and there is so much weight, and every time there is a weight, there is thread switching or context switching. So that's what makes this slower than uh, LT. Um, <clears throat> but still, it is the fact that it is so much times faster than um, RTL, and also because it has this timing, uh, it is, you can call it accurate in timing, from a timing perspective. Um, again, this is uh, not, it's not cycle accurate, I will just mention that in a minute, but it's accurate in timing and it can be a replacement for RTL for performance analysis kind of a, 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 an application. So it's typically used as a performance model. Uh, 
that's the application for this. Uh, it can be used for architectural exploration. You can change the command queue, play with it, change different sizes of buffers, change the profiles, and quickly run an experiment thousand times faster than RTL, and that's where AT stands. So cycle accurate, like I said, it's I, I won't call it a cycle accurate model because for, for it to be cycle accurate, it has to be a signal level model, and this is a TLM2, uh, and, and cycle accurate, it's and th this is at the level of transactions, it's not at the level of signals, so it's uh, it's beyond the scope of TLM2. And, and so that's LT and AT models. Thank you.